Welcome! We are so glad that you could tune in with us today. My name is Miss Amy. I am the Kids Director here at Kalos Church and I just wanted to take a moment to say hello and to introduce the lesson of the day. Today's lesson is all about peace and Jesus tells us that he gives us peace as a gift and that we have access to it every day. Now, I know that sounds really hard to remember, especially when unhappy things come up in, in your life. But for me, I put on peace that Jesus gives to me every day and I have to remind myself um, because he promises that and I trust Jesus. So put on your shoes of peace and let's enjoy the lesson from Connect HQ. Have a great day. This is gonna be such a great party. Everyone's gonna love it. Little balloon snake. I didn't know you knew how to make balloon animals, Mike. Well, I, I, I actually, I don't. You know what? A few of those would be great for the party. It adds so much to the atmosphere. Uh, but I don't actually know how to make. Don't be modest, Mike. Go ahead and show me what you can do. <gasps> that looks just like my puppy. I'm impressed. Just two more like that would be great. What? We are Connect HQ. Every day we help the people of the world live God's way. We look for the links, make the connection, and you never know what might happen. My name is Harper, and this is the time we learned all about peace. Huh. I really thought more people would be dressed in green. What? You know, for the peace party. And I would just like to say I am glad peace are getting the recognition they deserve. They are an underrated vegetable. Oh! Oh, that's why you're dressed like this. <laughs> Wait, is this not a peace party? No. <laughs> no, this is a peace party. Totally zen, man. Yeah! Party. And guess what? I wrote my family's super secret, super special pizza seasoning. Trust me, there's no better way to eat pizza. <laughs> no, it's a peace party, guys. P-E-A-C-E. -E. Oh, well now I'm just disappointed. Disappointed? What's wrong with the peace party? Actually, I do have a question. Why is the Quiet Time group celebrating peace? I mean, of all the things to celebrate, doesn't peace seem a little, I don't know, boring? That's a good question. You guys have been working so hard, and that's stressful. We wanted to do something to encourage you to help you find peace in Jesus. When we choose to follow Jesus, he gives us peace that never leaves us. When we choose to follow Jesus, he gives us peace that never leaves us. That's right. I think peace is far out. Thanks for throwing this party, Olive. Just wait until you... What's that? Oh, that means there's a message from the Connect Board. We better get to the hub to check it out. So, what does it say? It says the Connect Board is putting together a second Connect HQ team. It's called Connect HQ 2. Whoa. And, oh, it says some of our team is going to be transferred to the new team. They're sending out a list of who's leaving later today. But, 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 but I, don't, I don't want a different team. I don't want them to leave any of my friends. And I, I don't want any of our friends to leave HQ. This isn't fair. What about... I don't feel so zen anymore. What are we supposed to do? Just stress out and wait around until the list gets sent out? Just a thought. I know we're all stressed out, but I feel it too. I have an idea I think might help. Well, tell us. I've got a scavenger hunt planned for the peace party. It's designed to help everyone find the truth about peace. I think it'd help all of us right about now. Well, if nothing else, guys, this scavenger hunt could be a nice way to pass time until the Connect Board sends out the list. Yeah. All right, let's do it. These clues will guide you. All right, guys, well, let's go! Have you read your clue yet? Nope. You? 
No. I mean, what if I end up on the HQ2 team and I never see this room again, right? We used to have the best parties up here. There's no way HQ2s can measure up. They might not even have an observatory. Oh my. For the past two years, I've been meaning to learn how the telescope works. What if I've missed my chance? <sighs> Let's just read our clues. Good idea. It's probably not great for us to focus on what ifs. Mine says, what does peace mean? Sit down to find out. Let's give it a try. <sighs> Aha! Great job, Jaden. What does it say? Uh, let's see. What does peace mean? It means that things are whole and complete. Nothing is missing or broken. People don't fight. Instead, they work together to help each other. It can happen inside of you and in the world around you. I think I've spent most of my life thinking that peace is just the opposite of war, but it's a lot more than that. Yeah, I mean, I don't really feel peaceful inside right now, but I want to. Let's keep looking for peace truths. I think Olive was onto something with this whole scavenger hunt idea. Let's do it. Found it! You found your first peace truth? Nope, I found the building plan for the connect board. We're gonna break in and save the day. Doesn't that seem like a little much? What? I mean, we're just gonna disconnect some security cameras, get past some guard dogs, aboard several floors of motion detectors. Does that sound like a little much to you? What am I supposed to do? Wait around until I find out which one of my friends I'm never gonna see again? I will go crazy. We could always try all of scavenger hunt. You know, find some peace. I know we're supposed to want peace, but I just don't know if I can wrap my mind around it right now when everything feels like it's falling apart. Well, I don't know what else to do, so I'm gonna try. In a bowl of something sweet, a truth of peace you'll chance to meet. Oh, well, that's convenient. <laughs> the peace of God is more than just relaxing, laying around, sending chill vibes or everything going your way. That could get really boring. All right, point taken. Peace from God is Jesus healing your heart where it's hurt, healing your friendship with God where it's broken, and teaching you how to show his love by bringing peace to others too. Maybe peace is exactly what we all need right now. I mean, that does sound better than breaking into the connect board. Okay. Read your clue again, Harper. Looking for a gift? Just look up and over. Well, well, well. <gasps> you found it! What does it say? It's a verse. John chapter 14, verse 27. I don't think I've ever learned this one before. Would you like me to teach it to you both? That would be amazing. It goes like this. John 14, 27. John 14, 27. I'm leaving you with a gift. Peace of mind and heart. I am leaving you with a gift. Peace of mind and heart. And the peace I give is a gift the world cannot give. And the peace I give is a gift the world cannot give. So don't be troubled or afraid. So don't be troubled or afraid. Peace is a gift that only comes from Jesus. He helps keep our hearts and our minds free of trouble and fear. But peace is a feeling though, right? You know, like when we're feeling relaxed, happy, or just... Going with the flow. Right, but that is the peace the world gives. It feels good, but it doesn't last. Jesus' peace is always with us. I feel so much better knowing that Jesus' peace is with us right now while we're waiting to hear back from the Connect Board. You know, I do too. Thanks for setting up the peace party and the scavenger hunt, Olive. <laughs> oh, whoa, where are all the tablets? They're usually everywhere in here. Are you sure the next clue is talking about a Bible story in the archives? <laughs> yeah. To find peace, you don't need a library. Just find the story of Martha and Mary. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. There. Oh, hey. Let's check it out. This is the story about the God who loves us in the Bible. We find truth and purpose to love God and love others. We're searching God's word for things to discover. There's no other
a book like this This book is alive One day, a woman named Martha invited Jesus to come to her house. When Jesus arrived, Martha didn't spend much time with him because she was so busy serving and working and doing chores. But Martha's sister Mary sat at Jesus' feet and listened to everything he had to say. Martha got frustrated that her sister wasn't helping her. So she went to Jesus and said, It's not fair that my sister just sits here while I do all the work. Tell her to come and help me. But Jesus told Martha, Martha, you are worried over too many details. There is only one thing worth being concerned about. Mary has discovered it, and it will not be taken away from her. Martha had let stress, worry, and her responsibilities distract her from spending time with Jesus. But Mary knew that peace only comes from sitting at the feet of Jesus. When we spend time with Jesus, we can find this peace too. Only when we are near Him, Do we find healing, wholeness, and truth that the world and its worries can never take away? I understand how Martha felt. Today's really taught me how easy it is to let worry distract us from God's peace. Mary had it right. Peace can only come from spending time with Jesus. Yeah, I mean, it's easy to think that peace just happens. There's nothing we can do about it, but we can choose Jesus' peace when we choose to follow Him. And there are things we can do for feeling lonely or worried or angry or afraid like praying, reading the Bible, trusting God, and talking to trusted friends and family about what we're going through. I'm sure all of those things will help us to find God's peace. So what do you think? Is peace not as boring as you thought it was? (sighs) You know what? There's a lot more to it than I thought. (laughs) Hey guys, did you finish the scavenger hunt? We did. Those peace truths were exactly what we needed to hear. We thought the same thing. Do I smell pizza? I mean, what's a peace party without pieces of pizza? Oh, I'm gonna be right back, guys. I'm gonna go get my pizza seasoning. Is, is that? Yep, that is a message from the Connect Board. So, who's ready to find out who's leaving? I think we're really ready now. I don't see my name. I don't see mine either. None of our names are on this list. We're all staying. Oh, thank goodness. <sighs> but a lot of our friends' names are on that list. HQ isn't going to feel the same without them. They're probably in need of some peace right about now. Maybe we should invite them to the peace party. Oh, that's a fantastic idea. Yeah, I think that we should let them know that no matter what, we'll be there for them. We can give them God's peace just like Olive did for us. I like it. Come on, let's get them before the peace gets cold. Hmm. I'm Harper, and I work with Connect HQ. I learned a great verse today that I'd like to share with you. Say it with me like this. John 14, 27. I am leaving you with a gift, peace of mind and heart. And the peace I give is a gift the world cannot give. So don't be troubled or afraid. Peace is a gift that only comes from Jesus. He can help our minds and hearts be free from trouble and fear. When Jesus came to visit Martha and Mary, Martha let stress and worry distract her from spending time with him but Mary knew that all she had to do to find peace was sit at Jesus' feet. Today we got some news that made all of us feel worried, but Olive helped us learn more about peace. It's more than just relaxing or everything going our way. True peace only comes from God. It never leaves us, and it can heal our hearts and our relationships and bring peace to others. And that's not all. God's peace doesn't just happen. We can choose to receive God's peace by following Him, praying, reading our Bible, and talking to trusted friends and family. Don't forget. When we choose to follow Jesus, He gives us peace that never leaves us. And remember, Connect HQ is here to help you. So Olive asked me to make more balloon animals for her second peace party. We're gonna see how this goes. I I think I have something. Okay, everybody gets snakes. 
We all need God's peace. And the first step to finding God's peace is following his son, Jesus. Do you wanna make Jesus your leader and best friend? If so, all you have to remember are your ABCs. A, admit. Admit that you've done wrong and ask God to forgive you for disobeying him. B, believe. Believe God sent Jesus to take the punishment for your sin. Trust that you're forgiven because Jesus made you right with God. C, choose. Choose to spend your whole life depending on God's power to help you say no to sin. As you live and love like Jesus, tell others God is the leader of your life and your number one friend. Did you make that choice today? If so, congratulations, I'm so excited. Be sure to talk about it with a parent or leader you trust.